My original plan today was to have a review of this, the Parbolo Coast 13. However, I run into some technical difficulties with the drivers and I want to make sure that I get that right before I finish the review. But lucky for me, while I was working on it, I got this in the mail. It's, it's a package from Germany. Inside it is something called Paperlike. It's basically just a screen protector for your iPad. However, it was designed specifically to be a better drawing surface. It's called Paperlike because it's supposed to feel paper-like. So full disclosure, this was provided to me by Paperlike. They sent it over to see if uh, what I thought about it. So I'm just going to give my first impressions and, and kind of walk through uh, me putting this on. I should also point out, as you're going to notice in this video, I am terrible at putting on screen protectors. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Now I've even gotten questions like this one on my Procreate video last week uh, asking me about what I was drawing on it because people could actually hear me tapping and clicking on my iPad screen and it doesn't sound like drawing on a normal iPad screen and that's because I have always been using a screen protector, a matte screen protector to draw on because I just really prefer the feel of having a slightly rougher texture to draw on. The iPad Pro is really smooth glass, the Apple Pencil is plasticky, and so I just don't feel like I have the control, especially, you know, I'm not the greatest inker, I don't have the steadiest hands in the world, so having a little bit of resistance on the tip of the pencil is a really nice thing, and that's why I've always liked matte screen protectors. And the ones I've been using are just inexpensive ones I picked up off the internet. I actually did a whole review of screen protectors about a year ago. Now I haven't used this for too long, but I wanted to at least share my initial impressions of it. The very first thing I noticed is there is more resistance on this than there is on the just standard matte screen protector that I was using before. Does it feel exactly like paper? No, I don't think it feels like drawing on paper, but it's definitely better than drawing like plastic to glass. And I will say it provides even more resistance than I was getting from the other matte screen protector that I had before. I, I really kind of like it. The other thing that I wanted to look into because I've used screen protectors, some of which are, are a little bit thicker. This is a very thin film. And as the screen protectors get a little bit thicker, it can be hard to kind of register the Apple Pencil. But as you can see here, I'm getting full pressure through the pencil. It's registering all my lines just fine. So it's just like drawing on the normal surface. It just feels a little better. Quick update on this video. I just spent the last hour and a half just sketching something out for a client on my iPad. And uh, so here's the second impression of the screen protector. So as I drew with it more, what I noticed is there's significantly more resistance than just a standard matte screen protector. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. It's something that I got used to pretty quickly. And I also noticed where my hand sits, it, it gets a little bit dirty. And where it does get dirty, it also, it loses some of that resistance. So every so often I'll, I'll hit a spot where it glides a little bit. Glide is probably the wrong word, but there's just not as much resistance there as there is elsewhere. And as I was looking through some of the paperwork that it comes with, it says you should clean it off from time to time to prevent that sort of thing from happening. And it even comes with some extra wet wipes for you to use to do that. So anyway, I just wanted to get a video out there because I like to post every single Monday and I'm running a little late on that review. I will have it up later this week. And I'd also like to thank Jan over at Paperlike. This came from a very successful Kickstarter he did earlier this year maybe later last year. And I can say if you're looking for a drawing surface for your iPad that feels really good to draw on, at least from my first impressions of it, uh, this is definitely worth checking out. Anyway, thank you guys. I will talk to you in a few days.